A Clearwater woman is preparing to make her eighth trip to Africa since 2018, but she's not going on a vacation. She's changing lives by bringing water and food to the villages that need the most help. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how her mission continues here at home. It seems like such a simple experiment, but the results are so impactful when it comes to empathy and understanding. Students at Clearwater Central Catholic High School aren't picking up 45-pound buckets of water to cool off, but to learn what it's like to live in some of the most impoverished villages of Africa. That was hard. That was a lot more difficult than I thought. They are walking three to four hours a day, many of them children and women, through rocky grounds, hardly any good shoes, whatever, and they are drinking water that is not even fit for a pet. Nermeen Rubin and her daughter Samantha made their first trip to Africa in 2018 and saw firsthand the challenges people face. What really touched me is seeing the deadness in their eyes. They just had this vicious cycle of poverty. Nermeen has made it her mission to not only help those in Africa, but educate students right here at home. It's crazy that all women and children, that's the norm for every single day. And many of them have to miss school and not be able to have regular lives like us. So Nermeen created the nonprofit organization Water for Mercy. There is water in Africa. You just have to get to it. Over the past four years, they've worked to drill holes hundreds of feet deep reaching aquifers in 10 different villages across Tanzania. And once you drill, a lot of the times these villagers have never seen clean water ever come out. It is the means of not just drinking better and being healthy, but also planting seeds for good food. Nermeen says the phrase life-changing is thrown around a lot, but in this case, it couldn't be more appropriate. This one woman was pregnant, the very first baby that was born in this village with clean water, like the thankfulness, like they just cannot thank you enough. While back in Clearwater, students are eager to join the Water for Mercy mission. And even though we're so far away, I feel like there's nothing like too small that we can't do that would help make a difference. You know, I love what that student just said at the end there, bringing in Robert now. Robert, mm -hmm. so how are these students in Clearwater going to be helping with this mission? Well, the two main goals, uh, like most nonprofits, raise money, raise awareness. And when it comes to money, it's not as expensive as you would think to bring water to a village of like 5,000 people. When you add up digging the holes, um, putting in the infrastructure, the pumping system, it only costs about $55,000, and that's a one-time cost. And here's why, the pumps are run by solar power. So once you get the, the infrastructure in there, it's pretty cheap, it really costs nothing at all to keep it running. Mm -hmm. And then Water for Mercy actually teaches the villagers how to use the pumping system, how to use the harness the solar power so then they take ownership of their own water and it really is a sense of pride when it's all said and done and she has done this for uh, you know about 10 now uh, villages and she wants to continue to do it until almost the entire continent has water and we'll see if she can get reach that goal but with those young students we saw learning from her yeah. who knows the possibilities are endless over there that is awesome <laughs> spreading it to the younger generations we love to see that Robert thank you for that story mm -hmm. all right coming up next year at three